Hi, my name is Guilherme Costa. People call me Guy. Um, that's okay, I'll allow it. Um, but I'm much more than just my name. So, since I was a baby, uh, people knew I saw the world with uh, different eyes and a different perspective, I suppose. And uh, years later, uh, I became the Spider Kid, always looking for adventure, uh, new and exciting things to, to do every single day. And only years later, I was diagnosed with uh, ADHD, which explained quite a lot of my unlimited supply of energy and uh, my jumping around and uh, creating things and being bored out of my mind with, uh, with school. And um, yeah, that led to a very deep understanding of who I am and, and what I can do. So I'm creative and marketing director, um, also consultant. Um, and uh, I'm what's known in the industry as a branding strategist. Um, basically, I'm a creative person with a business acumen. <laughs> so, I get that question quite a lot. Um, basically, I help people and their brands uh, figure out who they are and how to communicate that in a more efficient way and in a more impactful way that brings them better results uh, from their efforts. And that's basically it. Well, <clears throat> trade secret. <laughs> so, no, but um, normally involves me asking quite a lot of questions and really paying attention to the answers because my job is to find solutions to problems that people didn't even realize were the real issue and um, find better and and more impactful ways to communicate and to reach out and then get better results um, but you know in high school in portugal you do this before you start you do this um, vocational tests and mine uh, came back pointing it uh, to investigation and research and at the time I actually believed I was going to be the next Sherlock Holmes uh, I was going to be an inspector and I even tried to get in the bureaucracy I just I just can't stand it and I don't have the patience for it uh, but I do love finding answers and in that we, well, I believe uh, I'm in the right track because I don't find who did it, but I find why it doesn't work and how can we make it work. And, you know, people just don't have to die for me to be contacted. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's brand therapy uh, and uh, usually people don't cry uh, when I do it, uh, but um, you know, to be able to, to do something like this, you need to be, uh, you know, aware, uh, not just the creative part, but also the business part of it and the strategy you know you, you have to understand the multitude of, of options and, and pathways to reach uh, up to a goal and you know you you need to know way more than just marketing you need to know about psychology you need to study uh, sociology and you need to understand how people behave and why they do certain things a certain way and um, you know besides that you need to be creative you need to be able to understand what makes a good photo what makes a good video and uh, how to write a great copy 
uh, because that's what's engaging and you need to know a lot of things and then combine all of it into just one process and that's very hard and, and it takes a lot of experience it takes a lot of mistakes and a lot of learning most of all i'm always reading and i'm always learning new things and you know meeting new people and new businesses because you know at the end of the day you if you don't learn you're not doing it right <laughs> Who says I'm good just because you're filming this? Um, I don't know. I think we live in a world where uh, opinions are just overrated. We, we, we pay too much attention to reviews and, you know, feedbacks. Like, they're live now. They're all the time there. And to be honest, I, I think results speak louder than opinions because normally the opinion makers are very very loud but that doesn't make them you know the, the banner uh, of that community uh, it just means that that guy is very loud and and for me uh, my clients are happy so that makes me happy and they are very happy with my work and what my work has done for their business and for me that's that's my guideline that's that's the feedback that I feed from um, not really about you know oh this guy's good or, or not because I don't think that's very constructive you, you can't really build something out of it only if it's a really negative but constructive review of my work which um, I'm very happy that it didn't happen yet. So um, yeah, but I'm human. Let's keep that. Don't have, don't give any ideas. <laughs> I really hope something cool. So uh, and unexpected, and you know, uh, that's that's the kind of thing I want next. <laughs>